Is it hump day? I have no idea. I just know I am so excited to speak at Decentralcon today and attend Consensus and be on stage with the hash the rest of this week. Anyways, let's talk about the top crypto and NFT news. Do you guys want some yogurt? Looks pretty good, right? Let's first take a look at the crypto market cap. A lot of things are in red, and that's because Bitcoin is literally doing nothing. Literally consolidating between approximately $31,000 and $28,000. This is the daily chart. We're getting a lot of contraction on the bands and we're touching the upper part. That generally means a volatile reversal. However, it is Bitcoin. And until we get that breakout above 31,000 sustain or that breakdown below 28,4 and sustain, I am flat. Here, have some yogurt. And you guys know we have to talk about this. Solana sets up a hundred million fund for Korean crypto startups. This is great. I absolutely love it. My issue with it is Solana goes down a lot. It's got a lot of bugs. It's got a lot of issues. So I feel like they should kind of focus on fixing some of those issues then on marketing. But at the same time, without marketing, you can't successfully compete in the market and let people know what your project does. More from the article. The funding will be used for investments and grants in a range of Korean crypto startups, but with focus on those in gaming, NFTs, and DeFi. That makes sense. But the key piece of information here, it comes just a few weeks after the Terran UST hysteria, a blockchain and its stable coin that numerous crypto startups in Korea have relied on. So basically, I think what they're doing is they're trying to pull that market share because we all know that Luna is. So you know what? I'm actually with this. And since we're talking about Terra Luna, let's talk about Terra Luna 3.0, but featuring Justin Sun from Tron. Justin Sun unveils his plan to secure his stablecoin USDD. And yesterday we talked about how he utilized a lot of his reserves to back it. Justin Sun has been very adamant about wanting to do things differently than UST did. And USDD currently has a collateration rate of 222%, which eek, kind of sounds a little scary. Now let's talk about how they are backing USDD to make it different from Terra Luna or UST. Now let's talk about some stats as to why USDD is different than Terra Luna. So the Dow is currently buying up Bitcoin and they hold reserves worth approximately $815.5 million. This includes approximately 14,000 Bitcoin worth $423.3 million. 1.9 billion Tron worth $152 million and $240 million worth of USDT. All I'm going to say is if you invest in this, understand there's a large chance you could lose all your money just like Terra Luna. So have fun, be safe, but be cautious. And yikes, another exploit, but this time it's with the Cosmos network. Osmosis Dex on Cosmos exploited for 5 million as validators halt the network. When the chain was exploited, apparently they froze the entire network for safety procedures. Apparently this bug was found by Reddit users, which is very, very interesting. And basically there was a bug that allowed people to add funds to the pool and then remove them. When this happened, the Osmosis Dex and Wallet currently became unusable, which kind of defeats the entire purpose of being decentralized. That's why anytime you're using any of these types of protocols, please, please, please be extra careful because we never know. And big shout out to my good friends over at Edge, especially Paul. Edge Wallet announces confidential no KYC digital currency MasterCard. With this no KYC debit MasterCard, you can go ahead and fund with Bitcoin and other digital currencies. And then you can go ahead and spend your crypto converted to fiat at approximately 10 million merchant terminals in the US. So you'll probably still have to KYC with MasterCard or however that works, but not with Edge, which I think is an actually really, really great feature because with Crypto.com, you have to KYC through their app. Have a great rest of your day. I'm going to go ahead and do a vlog of my experience in Austin. Hopefully I get to go to some dirty dive OG honky tonk bar. I think it would be a lot of fun. Anyways, y'all have a great rest of the day. I will catch you later tonight. Bye-bye.